Ben Elman. I'm the saxophone player and producer with Galactic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to New Orleans, man. Uh, this is such a musical city, you know. Uh, and there was so many people to play with, and you know, if you play music and you want to play music in New Orleans, you're gonna find people to play with. You know, we got a Pro Tools rig, really, is what happened. And, uh, and then we started making our own records. You know, we, uh, we had a rehearsal space that turned into a studio, or a little tiny studio, you know. And, uh, and it, instead of sort of going out to other studios, we started uh, making a lot of demos and stuff and, uh, in our spot. And that just, those would turn into our record. You know, before Pro Tools, we would, uh, you know, you rent a studio, you hire a producer, you have an engineer, and you go in, you knock it out, and, 10 days if you're lucky or whatever the process is. But now we spend more time uh, in the writing process. Uh, with Pro Tools now, we, uh, we, we use it as like a blackboard, really. And our drummer isn't around a lot. So uh, our process is this, is we record our drummer for maybe two or three days. Uh, and he's recording with a, with a click, with a metronome. And we record all these different beats, all these different ideas. He's, he's a great drummer, so he throws a lot of ideas, a lot of different BPMs out there. And we really write around that. In the end, when we have our song, we feel like we have a good structure of a song. Usually, we get back together as a band and play it out. You know, so it, it, it's more like a band. It has a live feel. But so, it, to that extent, w without Pro Tools, we wouldn't be able to do that. You know, we would really have to have our drummer around all the time. And who wants that? <laughs> <laughs> So instead of a bunch of dudes sitting in a room going, you know, come up with a good part, man, you know, it's like we kind of have our workstations and we get together, we do a combination of all, all things, you know, but it, it sort of becomes our sort of group blackboard writing tool, you know. Yeah, I mean, it was the first mobile studio that we took and we would take it, uh, you know, in our van. We have, I mean, actually, uh, we still use our first generation M-Box. We use it every day in our studio and it, it's, it's the thing that, that uh, it's where we put our ideas. One thing that I've learned, uh, Apple Z. <laughs> or Apple D, you know? Let's undo and duplicate, those are my best friends. It was invalid, it was the beginning and we still use it and now it's in a backpack and well, you know, it goes everywhere with us, really. You know, it's, it comes wherever we go. We have the inbox with us. I think it's, uh, and I know maybe it's slightly cliche, but it's it's knowing your past. You got to learn about Charlie Parker to train, or you know, you got to you got to study the one, the masters before you. I mean, like I said, it's kind of cliche, but it's true. You know, you have to have your foundation. When I first came to New Orleans, I saw the kids uh, that were listening to like hip hop and Louis Armstrong. You know, it's just like it's a really strange mixture of music. But uh, and I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of kids and the music that comes out of New Orleans is is uh, is really amazing. And it's got a lot of like unique culture and unique sound. And great musicians come out of here is because there is a sort of a you know uh, respect for the past. You know, and uh, without emulating it, but you know that's basically what I'm getting at is sort of understanding what was before you. Uh, to some degree and as, as your foundation of what you're going to do. You know?